What's up guys, Hot Sharp Frontier back at it again with another video. And this video, we are now at episode eight of Cash In, Cash Out. If you guys have not seen episode seven yet, I'm gonna go ahead and take a second. You go ahead and pause the video, watch it and come right back. We'll wait for you. Okay, cool, you're back. So you guys already know we pulled no value, unfortunately, like maybe $2. Uh, we're currently at negative eighty-six dollars, and with the product that we're gonna bring today, you're gonna see that uh, we're gonna be going over. We're gonna go to that triple digit again. But let me go ahead and show you guys what we have in store. So we got six packs right here for you guys, and we have four Darkwing Blast packs because, of course, I'm not giving up. I think we can still pull like uh, a Bestial Monster, uh, hopefully like Dreus Worm or a uh, Magna Hut. And of course we have two Tactical Ambassadors packs, which um, I'm really excited about. Hopefully we'll pull like a Collector's Rare or a Runic card. So, you know, kind of give us more value. But um, before we go ahead and get that started, we have a Field Center to show you guys. Now, unfortunately guys, this is not a um, one of the other ones that I have, but it's okay. We have a Masterpiece Field Center made by Stay Classy, really nice. Um, I know you guys like my other field centers, but you know, I need more of those. So you gotta, you gotta give me a minute, but <laughs> we have this masterpiece right here. Really cool. Um, we, we got this probably like my second or third field center ever. So really cool. But, um, all these packs before we start opening, uh, now the total was at $110 negative. So back at that triple digits, uh, unfortunately, right? But guys, let's go ahead and get to our first pack of Darkwing Blast. What can we pull? I just have a lot of hopes for this set. You know, Blackwing's amazing card, so can't go wrong with that, but can we pull something insane and get us out of that hole this episode? I told you guys, eight, nine, and 10 would be insane, right? So let's see what we have here. Okay, starting off with a Grief. Puffin, okay. Underworld Ritual of Prediction. Twin Shadow, Secret Art with the, it's kind of scuffed, uh oh. We have a Gondola, Zonda the Dusk, Mole Cricket. Oh, there we go. And we have the Ignis Phoenix, the Draco Slayer. What did I tell you guys? Already starting off with a bang. This is like probably a $5 card, I want to say. Certainly maybe four. But um, of course, we'll check the prices after. But you guys know already. Um, Okay. Perfect way to start that, right? <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Maybe because it's the first episode, we have our base cam finally on. So... All right, guys, here we go. Second pack. What can we pull? Feeling energetic today. Maybe that's why. All right, here we go. That, was, that one was a little tough to get into. Might be a good sign. Okay, here we go, guys. We have a Emerald Tear. We have a Aqua. Sky Ninja. Not bad. We have a Runic Fangs. Cosmos. Hot Rod GT19, or some people say Hot Wheels. <laughs> Sword Master, Pet Liger King, and a Black Feather Whirlwind. All right, so, all right, so not the card we wanted to see, but it's okay, because we have a few more chances to succeed if we can try to get out of that hole. So guys, let's go ahead and actually get into a Tactical Masters pack. Um, I haven't opened up too much of this set. You know, a few episodes ago, we did open up a box, which is really nice. But um, other than that, I opened up maybe a few packs and didn't really get too much. So let's see what we have here. I'm not gonna do any card trick because uh, sometimes it changes depending on the card that's in here. So we have a Runic Dispelling, Pendulum Fusion, Trap Trick, Book of Eclipse, which is becoming more uh, popular now. Runic Tip right there, let's go. Is this the, okay, this isn't, this isn't. <laughs> that's actually crazy. That is busted. We have a Runic Tip again, guys. I, I can't even believe it, look at this. It's not the collectors, unfortunately, but it's still amazing. I think it's like $25. What is going on today? We have a Runic Allure, Invader of Darkness. Okay, you know, full disclosure, uh, there were two packs left at Target, and I was like, huh, you know, I have to just pick them up, and I'm, I'm happy I did. <laughs> Already amazing, amazing. All right, let's go ahead into our Darkwing Blast pack. Let's see if we can pull a Starlight Rare. That would be absolutely insane. But guys, I'm feeling really hyped right now. We definitely have about maybe 30 bucks. We've just gone back. I think we just made back the uh, value of the packs. 
potentially. So let's see. Okay, we have a Herbertus Tessia. Oh, skipped a card. Ritual of Prediction. We have a Cannon Ninja, because ninjas have cannons. We have a Grief, Twin Saw, Scream, Entrainment, Secret Arts, and we have a Rex Freet Fur Hire. Okay. But oh, guys, that, that Rooney tip is amazing. All right, guys, so look, we have two more packs, right? Um, I don't know what we should do. You know what? We're gonna leave hope with Darkwing Blast. Let's go ahead and open up this Tactical Masters pack. We only had two, so let's see if this one is also amazing. Let's see what we got. Okay. So I have a Compulse. We have a Smithing Storm. Like a lot of the Runic cards are amazing. Oh, okay, we have a Labyrinth Setup. We have a Stovey Torby. Duelist Alliance. Shendo Drillir. And an Allure. Runic Allure. So, no value with this one, but we're still going to go ahead and sleep that up. See these two cards, amazing cards right here. Let's go ahead into our last pack of Darkwing Blast. I cannot wait. Hope you guys are having an uh, amazing day, by the way. Let's see what we have in this final pack. LPM, guys. LPM. Last pack magic. Let's see. Oh, you guys see that crease right there? you can see on the you probably see it now yeah that's crazy let's see let's see what we have here all right pack of destiny we have a runic fangs salmon pendulum shadow squall soul scissors full bloom preparations a goatee it's the last one this is the last one guys it is a trap card let's see it is a double cross. Okay. So, guys, nothing too crazy with this last pack. But, honestly, this is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and calculate these prices, and I'll get right back to you guys. All right, guys. So, we're back. We're going to go over our pulls right now. We have a Fur Hire. A Black Feather Whirlwind. Always great to see. We have a Labyrinth Setup. We have a Double Cross. Don't double cross someone. We got the Ignis Phoenix, the Draco Slayer, which is actually $3, so not bad. And we got the Runic Tip. So I checked a lot of different prices, but um, I'm actually going to value this at $29. So together, we got $32 today. And technically, if the, co if the packs all together cost $24, we profited by $8. So there we go, right there. Um, see, guys, I told you, we're going in the right direction, okay? It might just take a while, but we're going in the right direction. So if I'm correct with the editing, it should be $78 that we're at right now, negative $78. So we're going in the right direction, guys. Um, keep watching, and trust me, we're going to be right out of that hole. We have uh, two more episodes left. I'm going to try my best to uh, upload the next one soon. Uh, might be waiting for the new set to come out, but um, I will let you guys know. And... Um, Guys, if you like this video, make sure to give it a huge like. Comment down below what your favorite pull was. Definitely this runic tip for me. I think I might have to make runic now. <laughs> That's my second runic tip. But um, guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you're updated the moment I upload new videos. But guys, that is it for me. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.